Hey guys, Heracles Porsche here, aka Guildenlock, uh, here demoing Hotfix Echo for you. This is the new, this is the assault, well, it's not new, but this is the assault HMG with the, after the recent changes. I want to take some time here at the start to talk about the, uh, the aftermath of the 5 million clone challenge. So they gave us a couple extra days to complete the event I guess they only I guess we only had 3.2 million uh, at the end of the five days he originally gave us if you won three games you got a special BPO module at the end of it oh what well, you see you see my shred that laugh that's uh that's what this new assault HMG is gonna be for lav shredding I'll get to that in a second anyway back to the uh, five million clone challenge the BPO was a damage modifier module this damage modifier basically long story short it's gonna improve the damage for your main weapon and your sidearm so commandos probably won't be too excited about it logis probably won't be too excited about it but uh, on my heavy character who is uh, let's say somewhat reliant on his sidearm most of the time uh, Actually, I can be very reliant on my sidearm on this guy, but that's a 4% damage that's going to... It's across the board. That's not just my main weapon. That's my sidearm as well. So it was a no-brainer for me which which of my characters was going to end up with this uh, blueprint. Um, it went on my heavy character. Uh, it would have been nice to get it on all three. I mean, my Amar Logi probably could have could use this eventually, but... Uh, for the most part, I'm just happy to have this uh, damage modifier on my heavy. Any suit I use a damage modifier on, I'm going to be using this blueprint damage modifier. And uh, it's, that's that's helped save me f some skill points since uh, I don't really feel like I need to invest any more skill points uh, into the damage modifier module skill. Anyway, that's enough about that. You guys don't want to hear about that all day. Uh, you want to hear about Echo and all the changes to Echo. Echo. Alright. So that was my MagSec that I paired with the Assault HMG, but uh, you know what? I think I'll probably end up going back to Bolt Pistol. Now, I was, now I was originally going to do a straight read-through off the website but it's a bit wordy so I think I will just try to cover relatively quickly everything that's changed in Echo uh, alright coming from the top here they changed a bunch of things with the starter loadouts uh, they added a bunch of new equipment to them so the uh, frontline suit now has a militia uplink which is awesome because this game needs more uplinks pretty badly. Uh, the medic uh, has a repair tool and so just to be clear they have the repair tool and the nanite injector at the same time. They're gonna be a full medic. They're gonna be able to pick people up and repair them not just one. So it's good for them. Um, Let's see the I think the the AV okay the anti vehicle starter fit's been given AV grenades, and and it has nano hives so. Uh, now it's weird this page says that they're removing the sniper, and replacing it with a recon but I just checked. In uh, on a in game on a Galente character and my sniper fit's still there so, with that page says doesn't seem to be quite right but anyway uh, yeah apparently they were gonna remove the sniper fit and replace it with a recon uh, it's just me testing my turret um but they haven't done that so that's weird so that at least not from not on Michael Ente character so Damage, uh, movement so this might not so the movement okay back pedal speed has been reduced to 85 percent of forward movement speed so uh oh 
Did you guys notice that that Apex... Did that Apex Nomad suit get changed? I could have swore that suit used to have a nano hive, and now it's got proximity explosives. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask. Ask around about that, but anyway. So yeah, uh... Your movement speed, uh, going, moving backwards, uh, is 15% less. That might not... Here I am backpedaling in vain right now. Um, that might not seem like a huge change, but... Uh, believe me, I know that's going to that's gonna mean the difference. That's going to be a life or death difference in a lot of melee ex exchanges for me. I know, uh, particularly from this character. So... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see if uh, this game becomes uh, Nova Knife 514. <laughs> they have really, man, since since the Nova Knife's, you know, the Nova Knife was a weapon that people struggled with at the start. You know, it used to be relegated to, you know, a handful of greats like Mr. Mustard, but they are definitely, definitely changed it to a weapon that anyone can pick up and use now. So, yeah, uh... They have they have made this game fa favor melee quite a bit more than it used to. And speaking of melee, uh, where's the oh myofar my o fibril stimulants? So you guys may or may not know that as the module that used to add melee damage, just not Nova knife or shotgun, just straight up. Uh, elbow you in the face damage. They just changed that module, so not only does it add melee damage, but it is going to uh, make you jump higher as well. So I guess your elbows are stronger and your legs are stronger. So that's going to be interesting. I look forward to seeing people play with that. Uh, I think it'll be pretty entertaining to see some really high jumping characters and. Uh, might actually be useful on the heavy for sometimes. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but sometimes uh, heavies can't jump. Sometimes we have problems getting over some pretty basic obstacles. So I'm curious if we can use this module to alleviate that problem. I would certainly. I mean, it seems crazy to take that module over a damage modifier or more shields, but I would. I would definitely. I would definitely want to fit that could hop over those little uh, little barriers that uh, I could not get over before. It is it would be well worth it. Uh, let's see, they made some changes to medium frames, PG CPU. Uh, let's talk about heavy. Okay, so three weapons that have been changed: uh, heavy machine guns. I've been spending most of this video trying to demonstrate the changes to you. So I started out in an assault HMG. Now I think I'm back in a regular. Um, so the regular HMGs have had their their long range damage nerfed. It's not it doesn't look like it's too bad. Like that's me that's me shooting at thirty at you know that's the thirty meters. I might have been able to pull a kill off there before, but now it's I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so it's not, it's not, I haven't, my HMG definitely does not feel like it's been nerfed into the ground, but, uh, regular HMGs have long range damage nerfed, and we've been given, uh, changes to our, our assault HMG to compensate, so, uh, definitely, yeah, ex big changes to the HMG, uh, efficiencies at different ranges. Alright, we got, we got a couple other... Uh, weapons we got to talk about. Assault scrambler rifles had a, a massive damage increase. Plasma cannons had a 13% damage cre increase across all tiers. That's me at 20 meters. That doesn't seem like like it's been nerfed too too hard. Um, cloak fields are easier to fit. All I it just says standard and advanced, but I think across the board they're actually a little easier to fit. Um, I haven't had a chance to test this. Okay, deployable. So equipment. Okay, so they've made big changes to uplinks. I've got to cover that before this ends. My advice for lodges is to go through every piece of equipment you have, 
and check the numbers on spawn counts, uh, carry numbers, they've all been changed. You have more uplinks that spawn less people in. You can carry nine proximity explosives, check all the numbers. Some nano hives had their carry numbers changed, some didn't. Uh, I have a feeling like all these numbers are going to be a retweet. Anyway, here's me going proto freedom assault HMG to end the video off. Uplinks. Each individual uplink is only going to last half as long, so that's weird. I don't, I don't quite understand that change. A hundred percent. You're going to have to anyway. More of us have uplinks now, but we're going to have to spend more time managing them. I guess they just don't they don't want us plopping down one uplink and having it you know be useful the rest of the game. I guess they want us constantly uh, touching up and retouching our uplinks. That sounded weird. Anyway. Uh, proximity explosives, those are those those things that killed me earlier in my LAV. Uh, they've had the bandwidth reduced from two to one. Uh, I really need to make a video about bandwidth, but um, anyway guys, there have been extensive vehicle changes. Uh, just a list of vehicle modules that they've added, shield regulators, active heat sinks, active dispersion, stabilizers, I guess that, which one does that one do? Okay, so that's more accurate fully automatic fire, so I guess that's for Madrugers. Well, heat uh, they increased the fitting cost of of advanced and prototype shield hardeners. Okay. Um, Alright, so I already told you that LAVs have less health. Uh, passenger turrets are now mandatory on HAVs. There's more, even more changes to heavy, to heavy attack vehicles. If you are a big vehicle user, you should probably read up on the changes yourself. I'll provide the link. Alright guys, so that's my summary of everything that's changed in Echo and everything that went down during the 5 million clone challenge. Uh, I know this whole video has been a little off the cuff. It's just been kind of random, blathering, blah -de blah -de blah whatever came into my head, but please give me lots of feedback on this video. How did you like the 5 million clone challenge? What what does, uh, how is Echo going to affect your gameplay or, you know, how you're going to enjoy the game in general? Just give me tons of feedback on this video because uh, I am curious about other players' experiences. If I missed covering something about the 5 million clone challenge or Echo, or you discovered something really interesting about Echo that not a lot of people know yet, share that too. With the clone challenge and with Echo, I'd really love to hear from you. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time telling you to like, comment, subscribe. That's what every YouTuber does. I'm just going to tell you what I always tell you, Dusties. See you, Starside.